So what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to pick up where I left off. Okay. Um, and it was Debbie, wasn't it? He wanted it was to know indeed. the stitch. And like all of our designs, we just want to go for a simple repetitive stitch because I think once you are repeating a stitch more and more, it just becomes part of your muscle memory. So what I'm going to do, I've just finished one treble here. So each time we finish a treble cluster and a treble cluster is the three here, I'm going to do one chain stitch and that one chain stitch allows me to jump from this section to the next section without it pulling. So what I'm now going to do is I'm literally going to wrap my yarn over. I always put my thumb on it just to hold it so it doesn't slip. I'm going to go in between the gap in the previous stitches and I'm going to grab my yarn. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to bring it through. I've got three loops on my hook. I am then going to take it through two. Okay. I've got two left on my hook. I'm going to wrap it again. I'm going to take it through two. And then I have completed one treble. But I want to do three trebles in this section. So again, yarn over, hold it through the gap, grab my yarn and bring it through. Grab my yarn again, take it through two, grab my yarn again, take it through two. I now have two. And to complete the final one, yarn over again, through the gap, grab it, yarn over again, through two, yarn over again, through two. And there we have completed a treble cluster. Oh. And that's what the whole thing's made of. So we just keep doing that? Yes. It's just we're at the corners of the poncho yep. right here, which gives us that shape. So I'm just going to do another chain and I'm going to just quickly complete this next one so I can show you what happens when we get near a corner. So you've only been crocheting for a year. I actually, believe it or not, I actually learned to crochet last year when Sarah broke her leg. And you'd never done it before? No, I've always wanted to. I've, I've been knitting since I was five, um, so about 10 years. Um, so, you know, I thought it's about time that I sort of learned to crochet. And it's something I've always, always wanted to do, but it's been one of those things that I've literally just struggled with. And I think a lot of people have struggled with it. And it's really escaped me. And I think sometimes you just blank it out and say, no, I can't do it, I can't do it. And Sarah and I were having a conversation and we just decided, you know what, we're going to make this easier. We're going to make it easier for people um, rather than it being some kind of dark art that people just don't understand. We're going to make it a lot more understandable. And this is what we've done. This is literally what we've done. It can be a very daunting world and it genuinely can. I've tried and I know when our Catherine was here and Janice is doing the next show and she'll vouch for this as well. Um, Catherine taught myself and Janice to crochet. We were both terrible and that's Catherine who makes beautiful uh, mm -hmm. teddies and things but we couldn't master it and we've put it to the side and what I bought hooks I've bought yarn they're also currently sitting in the drawer at home and I've now gifted them to my parents as well because I can't do it I got that frustrated with it that I couldn't do it but reading these books last night and watching you do it and knowing yep. you've only been doing it for a year yes wow. and now you're demonstrating on the telly. I know, I know. To the world. Hey, don't mention that bit, don't mention that bit. Well, yeah, it was, it was April 23. Yeah, because yeah, I literally so. sat on the sofa next to you, didn't I? And, yep. and she said, so oh, that's years. good. Yeah, yeah. Nine months. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It was April last year. And you're year. now making your own garments. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And we've got ideas for more. We're going to bring out more and more and more yeah. because we both enjoy it so much. And the thing I love, and the thing for me that I love about crochet is the fact it, it's just something you can pick up, put down. You, when you're watching TV, because this is so repetitive, you can literally just keep going, keep going. All you're doing is counting to three and you get into a little rhythm. Um, you can be watching um, the soaps or whatever it is you like watching on TV. And before you know it, it can literally just grow into a poncho. It says a lot from what I listen to in my ear. So Jake, my director. <laughs> oh dear. No, who doesn't do the, who doesn't do this full time anymore? Okay, so he, he pops in, pops yep. out, and he's very very good at what he does. But even Jake has just said while you were saying that, then he said this is the first time. Jake, how long have you been directing for now? Or well, overall in five years. Okay. In five years of watching everyone 
on creating craft. He was old school creating craft. Um, this is the first time he's actually watched and understood crochet. It's the most accessible he's ever seen it. And we've had a lot of people walk through them doors. Mm. Laura's doing this job for nine years and totally agrees and has tried crochets and agrees thinks she could do it. And as I just said, I've sat here over the last two hours over to yesterday and today, yep. and I genuinely think I could do this now. It's just it's just simplifying it. It's breaking it down in both the garments that we've got. There's really there is really no sewing apart from the little bit of the sleeves on the cocoon cardigan. There is no sewing. We just literally want you to get the kit, start crocheting, and have loads of fun. And the thing is, yes, if you've got a kit, you can make it with this yarn, and then you're just going to be grabbing every bit of yarn that you see and making so many because everyone's going to want one. Um, it's going to be so, so exciting. So I've got to the corner. So I'm literally now going to show you how we're going to do the corner because it's slightly different. If I just lay that like that for a moment so Jake can pick up, you'll see on the corner where you literally will see a line going down where we've kind of turned the corner. And there's only two corners in the whole project. So when we approach the corner, okay. Okay, we're doing exactly the same thing, yarn over into the gap and we complete our treble. We actually do um, six trebles into this little corner, but what we do is that's one, let me find the gap again. Uh, the Eden that we're using at the moment and the Behem are super limited stock, super limited stock on immediate dispatch. The Stardust is a third of the stock gone on extended dispatch. So a third of that stock has already gone extended and they're super, super limited on the other two. If you want the pattern on its own, uh, really, really busy. The details are at the bottom of the screen. We've added even more stock that we weren't meant to have the first time around. Uh, sorry. That's okay. So we've completed our treble and normally, as we would in all the others, we'd do one chain stitch to get to the next one. But what we're actually going to do, because we're going around the corner, is we're actually going to chain two. So we've done our first treble, we then chain two, we're then going back into trebles, so yarn over again, back in that same corner hole, and I'm then just going to repeat the same stitch. And by the end of this, particular project you will be an expert in this stitch and then you can use it for lots of other projects as well. We've used it for the granny squares you just do four corners like that mm. instead of two. Ah, okay. So That's I'm now just going to pop that down you will now see if Jake can pick up how just by doing those two chain stitches it's just given me that really nice little corner to go round and then I'll just carry on on the straight again. I like it. It's quite clever, isn't it? It really is. You see, so when I, if I just take the hook out for a moment, and this is the beauty, you can just literally take your hook out, put it down and come back to it. If I lay that out like that, you can just see the two corners of the poncho forming. I'm going rogue. Uh-oh. Because they want me and Sarah to do another counter recap. 